January 23rd, 2024. It's getting better. Um, I went out to Hartville with my client. People walk in. See, I put it up there, that picture of that stripper. That looks just like that Michelle. Okay. People walked in. We've seen that girl. She's a stripper. We all seen her. See, that's where even my neighbor Keith, he's like, I've seen that girl before. Where did I see her? Or someone looks just like her. I said, um, Faith Family Church, you, her and her friends were there making fun of me. Okay. All right. I go in another store and people are like, nobody's to say a word to her. They said it's a fentanyl king to have this man do it. Dave hired him. Well, they said that in 18, honey, in McDonald's on 62. For we all work for the king from Texas. We are his men. Dave hired us. Okay. Right? And then they were saying, now this is funny. Hmm? Dave's, uh, her ex-husband's disappeared. All right. Then people walking around, men walk around me. These people better not be saying crap to her after what those people did. And then somebody says something about Bill being here. Bill uh, was one of the guys that uh, used to help out in this. I uh, had a young blonde girl friend that became his wife. And she used to go shopping. I never talked to him. But she used to, uh, her and her friends. And I talked to his mother. Sat down and talked to me. And um, I wondered about how they were at marriage. Showed me pictures of him. I was already seeing him around me. Um, so I know who they are. The only one I talked to was his mother. She showed me how he got a young wife and all this other stuff. Okay. Uh, but, you know, you got to think about Michelle. Um, this whole thing. This whole thing. I mean, it's a drug scam. Photoshopping and washing May 12, 22, May 26, 22. They found tapes of it. They admitted they photoshopped everything in 18. They were putting a thumb note me using a feminine wiping above the toilet in the other room uh they're supposed to photoshopped all the lies and that's how the two guys that look like joshy my son joshy with brown hair and brown beard um tall guys uh said they work for the king from texas that they photoshopped all the lies and that's how they said it in front of the cops uh from them now i got witnesses on my phone they never came upstairs as outside with everyone else when they were having pillow fights that um on the 4th of July, and when we go inside, they leave through the basement door because John was in a hurry. They're supposed to Photoshop them being dirty, peeking through a bathroom door, and I'm supposed to be weird with myself. That's disgusting. If anything, you're the one being dirty, and more likely I'd be putting yeast infection on my private area because it was infected. And they Photoshopped that, and I never, I wasn't even inside, and I wasn't weird with myself, and they didn't look through a cracked bathroom door. It was Photoshopped. I've got witnesses. I was outside with everyone else, even taped in my phone. They're supposed to Photoshop me bending over and then exposing my butt. They're supposed to have me Photoshop looking like I'm weird and it's supposed to be a shower scene. But they also said they Photoshopped a feminine wipey above the toilet in the other room. That would make you look weird. They're supposed to Photoshop all the lies they said. And that's what those people said in front of the cops. I've never talked to these people. They even admitted that they never talked to me. They only used drugs on me. Um, that they um, that they only used drugs on me. And they tried to lie it was sodium pentothal. They laughed that it was roofies, date rape drugs. They admitted to raising a Chris out of room and Photoshop everything. They've laughed at the FBI June 7th, 23 and Walmart 62, 10, 11 in the morning. Eric made fun of everybody in November 18th, 22, how he fooled everybody. And they were all him and not me. December 9th, 21 at the Oakland apartment on Cleveland Avenue maintenance man. December 9th, 21, uh, white man, bubble dark guys distributing food at the Stark County Hunger Task Force. Actually worked the case. November 1st to 3rd of 21, an African-American lady in Save a Lot. Everything being drugged and photoshopped. My client uh, in Navarre in 22, uh, they told her everything was drugged and photoshopped. 
January 19, 22, February 2nd, 22, May 25th, 21, 8, 9, 21, of being drugged and told to say it before framing March 24, 22, finding tapes of them emitting a shower scene in the other room to make me look weird, May 12, 22, and May 26, 22. Um, they were already admitting that they were photoshopping everything and then they were drugging me up in front of the police uh, in 18. And he, they were laughing that they did it before and they had framed me before and it was a drug cartel. Now I want you to start thinking about Michelle being a stripper. She's a prostitute. She has sex with men all the time. Why would she pick out Dave? Uh, she probably does 10 to 12 guys a night. Married men. Uh, he's trying to have me killed, um, didn't work, he's got the fentanyl group involved, uh, she, her and her family work with the, uh, M13 Florida drug cartel, the, uh, um, opposite people, and that's where the Russian was working with them, why well, you gotta think she was a perfect plant to be in there with Dave to find out what they're doing. To get that fountain king arrested. Where. So that they can take over. Like everybody said. We all seen that stripper around her. They said it was all the human traffickers doing her. To her and then it was a fountain king. Everybody realized that it was strippers. And human traffickers doing it to me. Um, Officer Mark. Uh, August 22nd. 23 outside Coles. Tells a lady. That even my ex-husband defended me. Um, and that nobody's ever talked to me and I was framed by the drug cartel, by the drug cartel. I was framed that it was a medication error that made me sick before. And, um, another lady was using my insurance. Okay. He told people that. All right. And they already told everybody they knew us in the sent 18 because it's not your fault when the drug cartel stalking you, they Photoshop you and they're roof you. It makes you a victim. It's like, do you want to hear a bad joke? You want to hear a bad joke? A stripper and a guy trying to kill his wife walks into an FBI agent with a call office, FBI agent's office with a, an occult leader and a human trafficker. And he fell for their scam. You want to hear a bad joke? It's called my life. And he left me up there. You want to hear a bad joke? A stripper and a man trying to kill his wife walks into an FBI agent's office, confesses to crimes with an occult leader and a human trafficker running a scam on a victim, and the FBI agent falls for it, and the victim almost gets killed and human trafficked and almost murdered and tortured. You want to hear a bad joke? It's called my life. And then that agent stole my money. Some guy said, well... They're supposed to have her saying blah, 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 blah. I never talked to them. They already confessed. They drugged me and told me to say it. I've never talked to them. I had bruises I couldn't explain. Throwing up, heart racing, and almost passing out in a severe personal infection from being drugged, being raped. And they've already admitted they drugged me and told me to say it. They laughed at you people. They've even apologized. And, that, and then they're like, well, that's probably where they drugged her and told her to say it before. It's like, yeah, dumbass. Where I had all those marks and I was sick and it's verified by all men, family, physicians. And that they never talked to me. Why do you want to keep just bringing it up just to rub it in my face? That some drug bitch was having the drug cartel do it. And you know, they were running around um, even the other night. That nobody should say a word to her. Some stripper had those drug dealers. Do all this to her and now her hus ex-husband's either running from that drug dealer or he's killed him. No, this is funny. That stripper had those drug dealers do it to her. I know. Had me drugged up, beaten, right, covered with bruises, throwing up, heart racing. I thought the well water was eating my skin and hair. I got a swollen personal infection. I'm being raped under drugs so I don't know what happened to me. And drugged up and told to say something. And that agent's making fun of a victim with them photoshopping, washing, and using a feminine wipey above the toilet in the other room. It's not funny. And none of this should have happened. And he should have hit me. I'll be like that former CIA agent. This should have been nipped the first day. And those people should have went to jail. For confessing for what they did to you. And you should you should have been taken care of. They should have never left you there. 
No, they shouldn't have. And somebody needs to make it right. And when people stop thinking it's funny that strippers and the human traffickers that are selling people are harming people and running scams, why don't you actually grow up? It's not funny when people that are child molesters, that are serial killing women and children, are harming people and running scams on them, and the victims are not in trouble for being scammed by the drug cartel. You're really not that stupid.